Welcome to Scale the Heights Qualifier 1, Row Light Brand, sponsored by Blonix. For this workout, you will need a rower, a war ball, 9kg for the men, including masters, 6kg for the ladies, including masters, a tape measure, a target to jump to or tape to mark on a wall. Masters athletes will complete this workout to the same standards as other athletes. The workout is, for time, row 500 meters, 21 wall balls, 21 target touch burpees. Row 250 meters, 15 wall balls, 15 target touch burpees. Row 150 meters, nine wall balls, nine target touch burpees. The following standards must be observed. The athlete must start with their feet in the paddles. Hands cannot touch the handles until the clock starts. On the call of three, two, one, go, the athlete may begin rowing. Any hand position on the handles is permitted. The athlete cannot leave the rower until the display shows the full distance. The judge must note the split time from the rower display screen at the 500 metre distance. The athlete is responsible for resetting their own rower to zero for the next round. The rower must be set at zero at the start of each row. No continual clock or distance is allowed. Wall balls. The first rep can begin with a med ball clean. The athlete must squat to parallel or below. The ball must remain in the rack position above the level of the waist throughout the squat. The ball cannot retouch the floor during the squat phase. No catching on the bounce is allowed. The athlete will stand and release the ball to a preset target height, 9 foot for men and 8 foot for the ladies. This includes masters. Some portion of the ball must make contact with the wall at the target height during the upward portion of the movement. The athlete may catch the ball in any position providing the ball remains above waist height. Burpee target touches. The judge and athlete set a target six inches higher than the athlete's full extension reach overhead. This can be any target set six inches above the athlete's reach. The athlete starts in a standing position. Hips and chest must make contact with the floor. After the athlete has left the floor, both hands must reach overhead to touch the preset target. One-handed touches to the target are not permitted. However, if using a mark on the wall, only one hand needs to make contact with the wall. Both feet must leave the floor. The athlete is permitted to walk out, providing their hips and chest touch the floor and they reach the target at the top. Your final score is the time taken to complete the workout. In the event of a tiebreaker, the split times after the first row will be used. Good luck.